Hello, we made this video to make things easier for you. After spending countless hours of research, we have come to the conclusion that the products mentioned in the video are not only highly functional, but extremely durable. The products are chosen based on their performance, quality, and the most important value for money. We will never recommend something that will dent your pocket or make you unhappy in the future. The reviewed list makes the cut of the best products in the category. Hopefully, our research will be a great help to you. Let's go. Welcome to Monoprice. My name is Isaac, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your new Monoprice Voxel 3D printer. We will also go over setting up the slicing software. Before we begin, please download and install the latest software and user manual by searching for the Voxel on monoprice.com. The Voxel is a great beginner 3D printer, but it's very different from Monoprice's other 3D printers. The Voxel comes completely assembled, ready to start printing out of the box. The unit is fully enclosed with clear panels and doors allowing you to view the print's progress. The 8GB internal memory allows for easy storage of prints, and transferring files to the printer is done through Wi-Fi or USB drive. The nozzle is easily removed by using the quick release levers. The side panel is also removable, allowing access to the filament compartment. Here you will find the filament storage and feeder mechanism. There is a removable build plate, which is flexible for easy removal of finished prints. The bed is also heated with a build area of 150mm3 or 5.9 inches in each direction. The voxel is calibrated out of the box, but should you need to adjust the first layer, calibration is found in the settings menu. Now that you're familiar with the printer, let's set up the flash print software and Wi-Fi to get you started printing. We'll start off by turning on the printer. Be sure the voxel is plugged in and flip the power switch. Once on the main menu, select Tools, select Network, 
Then select Wi-Fi. Now locate the slider in the top right corner and toggle the Wi-Fi on so the slider shows green. Select your 2.4 GHz band network from the list that appears. Enter your Wi-Fi password if necessary, and the printer should now be connected to the Wi-Fi network. If you prefer a wired connection, you're more than welcome to use the Ethernet port instead. Return to the home screen and select Tools. Then select About, locate the IP address that's on page 2, and write this number down for future steps. Next, we'll set up FlashPrint. If you have not downloaded this yet, please visit the Voxel's product page on our website by going to monoprice.com and searching for Voxel. You can find the file at the bottom of the Voxel's product page. Here you will also find the most recent user's manual. Once downloaded, install the MP FlashPrint software. When the software opens, select Print from the top toolbar. From the drop-down menu, select Connect Machine. A pop-up will appear with two drop-down options next to Connection Mode, Wi-Fi and Ethernet. Choose the appropriate method based on how your printer is connected. Enter the IP address you located previously into the IP address port window. Now click Connect. Once connected to the printer, you will be able to monitor the temperatures of the printer in the bottom right hand of the MP FlashPrint software. You are also able to import models, adjust your print settings, slice your models, save the sliced file, and send the sliced model to the printer to begin printing. Again, you can also transfer the files by using a USB drive. For beginners, the filament that you have received with the printer is PLA filament. When slicing your file, be sure to choose PLA from the drop-down menu. For advanced users, you can view more advanced slicer settings by navigating to File, Preferences, selecting the Print tab, and changing the printing window type to Expert mode. If you're having trouble connecting to the printer, Please verify that you've downloaded the latest version of the software from our website. And if you're still having difficulties after downloading the latest software, please feel free to reach out to our tech support team by phone, email, or chat. You can do that by visiting our website and clicking contact us at the bottom of the homepage. Congratulations, you're ready to print. I hope you enjoyed the Monoprice Voxel. I'm Isaac with Monoprice. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out monoprice.com for 3D printing products and support. Ben Malouf here to introduce the Lulzbot Mini 2 3D printer. Now if you're already a fan of the Lulzbot Mini, you'll be happy to know that everything you love is still here. Legendary Lulzbot versatility, reliability, and ease of use, the rugged powder coated aluminum frame, and of course the carry handle. But while it may look very similar on first glance, there's a ton of new innovation to talk about here. So let's get into the features. The first obvious feature change is the LCD screen. This means the Lulzbot Mini 2 is tetherless, out of the box, with no need to be connected to a computer to operate the machine. Just put your G-code onto the included SD card, pop it in the printer, and select your file from the LCD menu. Next up, let's talk about the re-engineered and innovative belt drive Z-axis. The benefits? First of all, speed, which really makes a difference when starting a new print or making manual axis adjustments. But the big benefit of the belt drive is in print quality. No lead screws, no potential for Z-banding. The next two obvious changes are the tool head and the print bed. The Mini 2's Aero Extruder V2 tool head is powered by a genuine E3D Titan Aero extruder and hot end and features a powerful part cooling fan with four-way ducting. This gives you a claimed E3D hot end quality and extrusion accuracy and allows you to print both rigid materials and flexibles up to 290 degrees Celsius. 
The heated bed is capable to 120 degrees Celsius and features a reversible borosilicate glass and PEI print surface, which simplifies maintenance and makes it easy to experiment with different substrates. Another thing you may have noticed is the noise, or lack thereof. Thanks to the Trinamic TMC2130 stepper drivers on the INC Retro control board, the Mini 2's motors run much quieter than on any printer we've ever built before, which makes it a great addition to classrooms, libraries, and offices. Like all Lulzbot 3D printers, the Mini 2 is built here in Loveland, Colorado, and comes with a one-year warranty and our renowned technical support. Extended warranties are also available. Just ask a Lulzbot sales associate for details.